Joining us this morning is Calamos CEO John Cadunas, along with Calamos founder, chairman, and global chief investment officer John Calamos. John, let me start with you. It's been a strong start to the year in terms of earnings. S&P 500 earnings are coming in up about 28 percent higher than the same period last year. That's about 10 percentage points more than what analysts were expecting at the start of the quarter. Is that all factored into the market here? I, I don't think uh, the market, it, it's all factored in at, at this uh, point. Obviously, uh, volatility is picked up in the market in here. But, uh, you know, it's, it's very positive in my view. Uh, but it hasn't really been reflected uh, totally in, in the market yet. Well, John Cadunas, will it be reflected in the market yet, rather than investors worrying, uh, worrying about other things? So we have inc a pretty incredible earnings growth in the first quarter. Are in investors, what's been holding back these markets? Are they worried about the future? Are they worried about higher interest rates, inflation? What is getting in the way, creating not only that volatility, but this kind of um, rocky market with that triple-digit loss yesterday just on the blue chips? Well, Dagan, uh, you know, I think you're correct. It hasn't uh, been priced in, like John says. It's going to be priced in. Some of it's been priced in. We've always been saying that monetary policy can only do so much. So now that we've got fiscal policy, you've got to remember, there's so much that has been done because of the current administration. Okay, we have tax reform that has not been played out yet. We have regulatory reform that has started to get played out and been very, very positive for, for, the, uh, for the markets. Repatriation of money and, and jobs back to the United States. That takes a long time, but it's reflected and it's going to continue to reflect. And then it's fair trade. And that's the big question that everybody's watching. And so that, the way that plays out, along with geopolitical uh, risk, there's a lot of upside still left in this market. John Cadunas just mentioned this, but let's keep talking about the impact of the new tax law, the um, growth of the new tax law. The Trump administration says it's aiming for sustained 3% GDP. The first quarter reading, though, came in at 2.3% and spurring some new worries about a slowing economy. Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin shrugged off those concerns during Maria's interview yesterday. Listen to this. These same economists were saying a year ago we'd never get higher than 2%. So now they're saying we're going to get to 2.8 or 2.9 this year, and they want to give reasons why that growth isn't going to continue. And everything I'm hearing from business people, from workers, from people I meet with, uh, there's a lot of investment going on in the U.S. We couldn't be more excited about the opportunity for growth. John Calamos, where do you think growth can come in, not just this year, but in, in coming years, given all of these tailwinds that we're getting from fiscal policy? Well, the uh, tailwind from fiscal policy has really been uh, positive in here. And I think, you know, even the tax bill, it's only been three months, four months. So as that is really impacting the economy over the uh, longer term, that will be positive. Uh, volatility is coming back, and we're seeing that, and, and it's, that's normal for a growth-oriented market. So we've, we've really switched from a sort of a, uh, is it deflation, inflation, to more now it's growth. Uh, inflation is coming back a bit. Growth is coming back. Uh, so I, I'm looking at the market a bit more positive. We may have a sideways market for a while with more mm -hmm. volatility, but I, I think... Uh, I think the growth uh, is going to be very positive going forward. So uh, in, in that sense, I think uh, being in equities and, and some of uh, alternative strategies in here make a lot of sense. John Cadunas, where is the biggest risk in the markets? Because again, with a focus on fixed income, is the risk in treasury bonds, longer term treasury bonds, interest rate risk, or is it credit risk? That's something that Scott Minard was talking about yesterday. Actually, uh, you know, interest risk is always a risk when you have a, a, a raising rate environment. Mm -hmm. uh, at Calamos, uh, going back to some of the other things you had said, it's sustainable. We're seeing inflows that we haven't seen in a long time. Five consecutive quarters of inflows. When I was on the show at the beginning of Milken last year, our AUM was approximately 18 billion. We're approximately 22 billion today. 
we're seeing flows. The risks are more geopolitical, and people are looking for different types of ways to mitigate risk. And our liquid alt program has been strong. John's developed a firm that for 40 years that we've been leaders in this space. One thing that's interesting, Dagan, that you may want to take, mm -hmm. most of our, a lot of our funds have convertibles. Right. And if you look at the markets, since 2008, actually 2009 March was the lows in the equity markets, we had 20 corrections that were at least 5%. In those 20 corrections in equities, convertibles outperformed 19 out of those 20 per times. So we use these securities and a lot of our funds to mitigate risk, and we're seeing people come in. Before last year, everybody was talking about passive investment. We're starting to see the pendulum move more towards active investment. We're seeing it. It's happening. People want to get their hand held, and they want solutions to issues, rising interest rates, right. volatility, and whatnot. On, on that note, John, I'm going to give you the final word in, t in terms of what the Federal Reserve does this year. I've pointed to reducing the balance sheet as the major risk because I don't think anybody on the planet knows what really happens in these credit markets and in the Treasury markets as you pull away. You have a federal government spending even more money and you have a, a Federal Reserve that it is pulling away from buying fixed income securities. What do you expect in terms of the Federal Reserve this year? And is that maybe the greatest risk to the market? And that is a risk that uh, we're watching uh, carefully. Uh, my sense is that the uh, Federal uh, Reserve uh, may, uh, obviously, they're going to raise rates, but I don't think it's going to get out of hand. I don't think they want to, you know, kill the economy by raising rates too fast in here. Mm -hmm. So I think they, uh, we're, we're positive on, on that sense. Mm -hmm. And remember, we're trying to get into more of a normal uh, interest rate environment and uh, that that's positive uh, for the uh, longer term as well. So I I I, I feel that the uh, the Federal Reserve, especially with the new Federal Reserve in here, uh, these are past business people. Uh, they look at it a lot differently than before. So uh, yeah, a few uh, more rises in interest rates, but really a normalization of rates over the uh, longer term in here. Thank you so much, gentlemen. Thank you so much for getting up very, very early. John Kadunas and John Calamos of Calamos, the Calamos Fund.